Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa and check out what we got behind us today. This is a 1971 BMW R75 slash 5. Isn't that beautiful? Good friend of mine owns that hot rod. And we, you and I, us, we're going to go take that hot rod for a spin. Wahoo! All right, let's see if we can get this thing to run. Five, four, three, two, one. She's a purring. Oil lights off. Speedometer, neutral light, oil light up there. Hey, look at this. Nice. Tachometer down here. Gas, start switch. I'm not sure what this does. One of these is the light button, the other is probably a turn signal. A little dampener here. Drum brakes, front and rear. Love the feel, absolutely great feel. So this is a 1971, I believe, BMW. R75 slash 5. Has a four speed gearbox. Has a 750cc opposed twin engine. Air cooled. I'm still getting used to it here. Four speed gearbox. Very smooth. Absolutely like it a lot. It's got a good noise to it, a good feel to it. I don't want to say it's passive, but it certainly is gentle. Not a sports bike, but definitely a good touring bike. The kind of thing you could probably drive to the end of the earth on. 34,000, almost 35,000 miles on it. Now this bike is owned by a good friend of mine, Everett. He has a habit of buying old motorcycles that seem to run just fine, taking them home, tearing them into little tiny pieces and putting them back together and they always seem to run better when he's done. <laughs> Very different feeling compared to a modern bike to do this figure eight. Loads of torque in the clutch. Very good. You can you can hear the shaft. Nice transmission. Very uh, positive shifting. You can hear the clunk. Not the kind of motorcycle I'd like to ride hard, but certainly a motorcycle I would love to ride a thousand miles. And if you all can see the mirrors down there, you can certainly tell the brakes are drum brakes from 1971. <laughs> They work good for drum brakes from 1971, let me just say that. The pull is amazing, the torque is fantastic. I like the way it feels. There's virtually no vibration in the hands, maybe very little, I've got gloves on. There's a bit in the seat and just a bit in the pegs. So not very much at all, nobody behind us. We're gonna go slow and easy here. I like it, I like it. I could just feel that uh, carburetor in my leg there for a second. Handling is unique. It's a bike of its zero for sure. I think it's really a... I wonder how much fuel we have. I think it's really a road bike, you know? Let's take it down the road, actually. I don't think ever would mind. We'll go for a short run. This is the part where I usually say, let's make some noise. But you don't make noise on a bike like this. It's nice and quiet. Oh, this is smooth, very smooth. Four speeds, I think we're there. I like it, I like it a lot. Yes, you could ride this for hours at a time, I believe. Just a beautiful thing, just a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and turn around right here. Okay, so this is a 1971 motorcycle and I just don't feel comfortable taking it too far. Look at that handling. 
Superb, superb. Now you can see the mirrors down there. That's something, something ain't. That's something to get used to. You know, it's got very good pull. I'm not sure what the horsepower is, but the torque is certainly good. I like it. Very impressive. Wow, this is a real beauty. A real beauty. Fabulous, just fabulous. I gotta remember the brakes. <laughs> Old drum brakes do not like to stop fast. Though they do work well within their limits. It's kind of got an interesting feel to the handling, a very different kind of feel. Let's see what we can do here. Hey, how about that? Some traffic. Howdy! I know him. Mark, how you doing, buddy? I'm uh, being extra cautious here. If you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over to the Drail Grill. Good eats, good eats. Now look at this pull. Absolutely great and very smooth. You know, over 4,000, she really smooths out. Maybe even over 3,500. That's her, that must be her sweet spot. Very good. Huh, I wanna show y'all something. Pay attention to the bike. I'm gonna give it a rev and it's gonna to torque itself. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Beautiful. That's that opposed twin. The crankshaft runs this way. I like this. I like this a lot. I mean a lot. This is a real piece of art, my friends. Very impressed. Now, like I said, this bike's had Everett's touch, so it's uh, extra. It's got that special sauce on it. Makes it work better. We'll go up here to the corner. There's number four. Okay, at uh, over 4,000 RPM, we're hitting 70. And the seat is smooth. The foot pegs have got a slight burr. And the handlebars are, uh, I can feel something, but just vaguely. I mean, it's there. Very good, very good indeed. I like it. I like it a lot, and there's my turn. <laughs> we'll go to this one up here. No one behind us. Transmission is awesome. Now that I'm getting used to it, it's a very good shifting thing. Has a, you know, every transmission has its ways, as is this one. Very smooth, very smooth. Look at that. This is pure art. This is really pure art. I can see why the uh, airhead group gets so, uh, they, they have something to brag about. This is really an impressive machine. So here we are at uh, just about 60 indicated. We're turning about 38, 3900 RPM. The handlebars have virtually no vibration at all. A little bit in the feet, very little in the seat. I like this. Very good. As I speed up a little, you can feel a little more buzz in the bars. If I slow down, it goes away. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Quite an impressive machine. Quite an impressive machine. I like this a lot. The people that have these, they covet them, and I can see why. Handling is superb. The clutch and the uh, transmission, now that I'm getting used to them, are just fabulous. Very impressive, very impressive. I know I'm going on and on about it, but it's quite the machine, I gotta tell you. Let's see, what do we got here? Go ahead and park her right here and 
I don't trust drum brakes. <laughs> Old habits try hard, and for good reason. Okay, so to kill the machine, I've got it in gear. Let me make sure of that. Yep, first gear. We just pull that out, and there she goes. Wow. Check this thing out. Uh, probably about 750 cc's, but look at the color of those uh, cylinders and head. There's a reason for that. I don't know what it is, but uh, Everett's done some magic there. Look at those pipes. Big old center stand on the bottom. Right now it's on the side stand. Look at all the rubber. Everything's just kind of perfect. Here's the kickstart choke. Didn't need that today. It's about 100 degrees out here, especially on the asphalt. Look at those different marks on here. Shocks are adjustable right here. Swing arm, it's a shaft drive motorcycle, drum brake on the rear. Look at that little signage back here. I suppose that's original seat. Uh, it's been recovered, I think. It's been recovered. Little white piping right here. Nice rack. Pipes redone. So, uh, they're aftermarket. Aftermarket pipes. Okay. I love these little chrome panels. Bing carburetors, of course. Giant knee pads. I wonder what, I don't know what it holds for fuel. Do you know ever? Four gallons. Four gallons of fuel. Probably gets awesome gas mileage. These are the mirrors right here. Have you all seen mirrors like that before? They were kind of a little bit to get used to, but uh, we did it. Looks like a dual leading shoe on the front. Yeah, twin leading shoe. Yeah, twin leading shoe. Little ridges for air cooling. Nice covered forks. You put this on here. Took the fairing off. Put this little guard on there. Uh, start button is right here. Is this like a kill switch or something? That's a turn signal. Turn, oh, on this side, okay. Yeah. And on this side, one of these is the uh, driving lights. That's this one. That's this one here. This one is uh, high beam, high low beam, and horn. High low beam and horn, okay, in for horn. And of course, it's phone mount. Clutch, nice barrel grips. I love barrel, oh, look at that, nice and soft. Yeah. Very good, I had gloves on. With the, no wax Harley, it says. <laughs> hey, look at this one. Just a real beautiful machine. I really enjoyed riding it. Quite an adventure. Quite an adventure. The uh, characteristics it's had on the road were just uh, phenomenal. They were These guys here have all rode it. Uh, they rode it a little faster than I did. And they were uh, <laughs> lamenting how it performed at 80. We didn't do that, of course, but uh, maybe next time, right? Well, anyway, great bike. Thanks. Thank you, Everett. Right. No problem. Y'all get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo. Just a quick look at this thing. So uh, he got this thing about a year ago. I think he got it here, maybe. But uh, he's gone through the whole bike. I think he said new timing chain, new alternator, all kinds of work on the electrical system. Make it reliable and, you know, everything function just as good as can be. Cleaned the whole thing up. Took there was a fairing on there. He took that off. Took the bags off. There were some aftermarket bags. Shined up everything. L all the head all the lights are LED with the exception of these. It's got a kickstart on the side. It's also electric start. Bing carburetors. Of course, drum brakes. Check that out. Absolutely gorgeous shaft drive. Shaft drive. I love it. I've ridden this bike, I rode this bike a year ago, and it was incredibly smooth. And uh, knowing Everett, it's going to even be smoother this year. Just look at that hot rod.